Greetings friends, it is Victor here and welcome back to another video. I recently switched from low-dose testosterone gel to being on low-dose testosterone injections with an auto-injector and so I just wanted to post this video here to kind of talk about why I switched and why I really like the auto-injector as well as kind of like, I don't know, drop some tips for how I have uh, gotten over my fear of injecting myself because I feel like that's something that uh, a lot of people are thinking about when they're potentially going to have to self-administer injections. Before we get into the video, please do go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you very much. Okay, in January of 2021, I started on low-dose testosterone gel. So this is a gel pump that administers 20.25 milligrams of testosterone per pump actuation. And I was on two pumps, which would be 40.5 milligrams of testosterone daily. So essentially, I would just uncap it here, I would press down the pump, it would distribute the gel into my hand, uh, or I would usually pump it directly onto my shoulders, um, and then I would like put one pump on each shoulder and I'd rub it in, I'd wait for it to dry, and then I'd put a shirt on. So that whole process, super, super quick, it takes like five minutes to dry tops, um, and so I would usually just do it after my shower, but this was a daily activity. And so what I found was when my schedule was inconsistent or I wasn't taking a shower at the same time every day, or if I was, you know, sleeping somewhere else, like I was out camping or backpacking or traveling or at a friend's house or something like that, it was a lot more to think about in terms of, oh, I need to take my gel. I need to make sure I'm trying to be consistent with the time of day that I'm putting it on. If I miss a shower or skip a shower for a day for some reason, um, then it was this whole hassle of like, oh great, now I need to like undress and like remember to do it um, before bed and that kind of thing. And so it wasn't bad and it was great to not have to inject myself. And it was also great because I was able to literally take testosterone one day at a time, which especially at the beginning, I was really, really looking for just that level of control and being able to be super in tune with my body. But I found that the logistical uh, high maintenance nature of the gel was just not super working for me. So I did about eight months of a low dose testosterone gel and then starting right around the eight month mark, I switched to injections. Now I opted for this auto injector, which is essentially a device that allows you to administer your own injection without ever having to see a needle. You don't have to touch the needle. Um, other than like the de device will actually put the needle into you for you. Um, and so it is really, really wonderful because I don't have to worry about like hyping myself up to like stab myself with a needle. It's like it, it, when you open the cap, it's kind of like this, it's about that big and you just like put it like on your skin. Obviously it's not going to go into your arm, but like you would put it on your skin and just press it in and you don't see the needle at all and it's such a large surface area that like psychologically it's not exactly the same as like stabbing yourself with a needle. So this is actually a brand name, it's called Zyosted, spelled X-Y-O-S-T-E-D, um, and this is uh, the auto-injector device. So my doctor told me that these very recently came on the market um, and that they've not been out for all that long. And so I know that Zyostead is kind of running, I don't know if it's like some kind of rebate program or like a promotion or something, um, but I have like a little card um, provided by Zyostead that essentially makes the prescription free for me. Um, and so I've been able to get at this point two months um, of my prescription that I have not had to pay for, which has been incredible. So Zyostead comes in three concentrations. Uh, I am currently on the lowest concentration, so the lowest dose, which is 50 milligrams per half mil injection. Um, and so for me, that was kind of what my doctor recommended as being analogous to being on low, low dose T just to kind of see how that's going. So I'm getting my blood work checked in a little bit and then I may stay here or I may move up. I've been very, very pleased with the dose. I definitely don't feel like things are too slow. I also don't feel like things are going too fast. So for me, this concentration has been really, really good so far. All right, I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, my routine to actually perform the injection because even though it is an auto injector something psychological about this idea of I am getting ready to stab myself with a needle is still like sometimes like a, a barrier psychologically. Essentially what I've done is I have given myself hype music um, and so I have one song in particular that I will play like basically is walk-up music and it makes me feel really cool and like super into it and then I just like do the injection 
and it's no big deal. So for me, that song is Unbelievers by Vampire Weekend. I don't know why, but like, especially in the mornings as I'm getting ready for my day, this song just like really hypes me up. And so I'll like jam out to the little intro, um, and then I'll like kind of use my pen to like, this is, this sounds so, so silly. This is what helps me. And so if it potentially helps someone else, I am willing to embarrass myself on the internet. So basically for, uh, for the first verse and the first chorus, I use my pen, as a little microphone, and I like lip sync to the whole first verse and first chorus, and that super hypes me up. Um, and then during the uh, second verse, I'm like uncapping it, I'm making sure that like I've sanitized or like used an alcohol wipe on the injection site, um, which is usually like in my stomach. Um, and then I'm like, you know, grabbing like the pinchy thing where you pinch the skin or whatever. Um, and then by the second chorus. Like, that is my mark of, like, if I have not injected myself by this point, like, there's a specific line that I'm like, this is where the injection goes. Um, and so it's, like, in time with the music, it's, like, very methodical, and it gives me very little room to, like, back out, because, like, if I miss the beat um, that I'm supposed to inject on, like, I, I've never done it before. I've never missed it, because as a musically inclined person, I just, like, I want to be on the beat. So um, that is how I have managed to give myself my shot. I hype myself up. I lip sync very euphorically um, to Vampire Weekend, and then I've got a specific spot in the song where I'm like, this is where the, the injection goes. And honestly, I don't feel it all at all. Like, I do not feel the needle. Um, I've never taken it out. There's been like one time where there was like a little drop of blood, which is totally normal for an injection, um, and you just wipe it away, and it's done. Uh, you never see the needle. You don't really see the needle hole, uh, especially if you're not looking too hard. Um, and it's really, really easy. At least for me, this is psychologically much, much easier than I thought it was going to be. So I've now had five doses of the injection. So this is once weekly. So I've been on it for like, what, almost six weeks now. Um, and uh, essentially I have found that the first couple times I was kind of scared to inject myself, but I found myself looking forward to my injection and like not being afraid of the actual injection part at all. Uh, so for me personally, like, the psychological barrier is, like, much, much lo lower than it was, and I feel like it's at the point where I'm very comfortable with this. I feel like I could do it without my hype music and without my routine, but my routine is, like, really fun, and so why would I not? Um, so, yeah, I'm super comfy with this now, and I feel like I'm at a point where I could transition to doing my own injections, not with an auto-injector, if at any point this became too expensive for me. So Xyostead is fairly expensive without insurance or without like the rebate card. Um, thankfully my insurance covers it. I think if my insurance were to cover it without the rebate card, it would be about $80 a month, which is still honestly a little bit too much for what I would be um, willing to do. Um, but with the rebate card, like I said, it has um, brought the price down to $0 for me. Um, I think depending on how the rebate card works, it could be either $0 or $20 a month. In either case, obviously zero dollars is like phenomenal. Um, Twenty dollars is something that I could manage and that I could afford and that I would be happy to pay for this, um, which actually would come out to be even cheaper than the gel. Um, and so, yeah, overall, between insurance and the rebate card, this is made um, relatively affordable uh, for me. Um, but if at any point the rebate card like goes away and I'm not able to like get that like copay or whatever they call it like down to zero dollars uh, or like 20, sub $20 a month, um, then I would strongly consider going to self-administered injections, not with an auto injector, um, which would be, I think, substantially more uh, affordable even without insurance, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so, um, yeah, and I feel like this has been a good psychological bridge to get me to the point where I'm like not afraid to do my own injections. So I cannot speak highly enough about uh, the auto injector device um, for the once weekly injection. Um, I would highly, highly recommend it if you were considering trying to go to sub-Q injections but are just kind of afraid to take that big step into like drawing it out of the vial and then like actually administering it to yourself. All right, that is all the information I have for today. If you have any questions about Xyostead or why I switched from gel to injection or anything about the gel, please do feel free to hit up the comments and I will try to be there to answer whatever questions I can. All right, with that, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time.